science, everyone. Whoa. They've made great advancements throughout time. And today, Professor Gunter Wagner, who specializes in ecology and evolutionary biology at Yale, believes that in the past, all female mammals used to orgasm in order to ovulate, but throughout evolution, and because men are incapable of giving women orgasms because we suck, that has changed. And now, the female orgasm serves no reproductive purposes. And finally, we have an answer for it. What, what do you mean? That's what I'm saying, that men oh, throughout time were so incapable of delivering a female orgasm that women were eventually like, fuck it, we'll just ovulate on our own. At least according to Gunter's uh, okay. findings at Yale. Wow. Incredible institution. Yeah, I was going to say. So this is very interesting. So it's almost, it's an evolutionary thing that has taken place that he yes. has observed. Yes. With the female orgasm. So originally, when looking back at uh, women from ancient times, they found out that uh, an orgasm, just like a male orgasm currently still is, had a reproductive purpose. The women were only able to ovulate yeah. once they had an orgasm, once they achieved it. And then women wised up. And then they women were like, a wait a deal. minute, we need to reproduce a lot more because babies keep dying left and right. Oh. And... Uh, well, that's the case, I mean, in the ancient times, I'm saying. Right, but I feel like you yeah. could say it in a more sensitive way. I mean, Yeah, okay, babies, anyway, I'm not trying to... The, the perils of childbirth. Yeah, 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 uh, perils of childbirth. Dead babies all around access, us. Uh, like, in no the access or no, uh, like, technological advancements at the time that, you know, could provide uh, incubators or any sort of, like, clean facilities to yes. facilitate childbirth. Um, and then there was also dangers like tigers and lions and <laughs> other animals that kept coming in and eating the human cubs and right, that's wait, why are they you needed literally it. saying I'm, I'm explaining evolution natural I, selection and why there was a need to reproduce at a rapid because rate a dingo took my baby exactly because dingoes were taking babies <laughs> god this is weird making a mockery of a very important subject but anyway i think that the funniest <laughs> part about it and the part where i'm saying that men were so incapable of uh, producing a female orgasm, that is my speculation. That's yes. not what Gunther came out and said, but he kind of alluded to that point a little bit. He was just like, something happened and women just, uh, you know, lost. Uh, well, I the think women, perhaps they realize that you don't necessarily need, at least I can, I would f speculate, that you don't need a man to have an orgasm. Well, Okay, obviously that's the case. No idea why case. I would think that. I know, uh, obviously that is the case, and it's the same for uh, men as well, but um, the still, the one underlying purpose of an orgasm in general is to make sex as fun as possible, therefore, um, you know, still having humans uh, mate. You know what I'm saying? So yes. that we can pursue our, like, our lineage yes. and continue to evolve throughout time. Yes. Now, Aside from that, though, you don't think it's interesting that women literally evolved away from having orgasm be an important part of their reproductive... It just goes to show oh. what I have theorized for a while, that every straight girl is just a gay girl that hasn't been asked the right questions yet. That's, that's, that's what I think I'm taking away from this. You would use this to promote your own propaganda. To promote the gay agenda! God damn it. The you're... findings from Yale are in! Uh, yeah, Gays great. are taking over! Like, yeah. oh god, that's Grace terrible. Baldridge, every that's Republican's gonna be nightmare. I know, I was gonna say, that's gonna be replayed on like a Fox News loop of just like it's this like... dikey lesbian with a Mumford and Sons hat, like the gays are taking over! Um, also, Hassan, I really like this story. Can I say, this is... Having you explain the female orgasm Evolution, why babies were dying, is perhaps one of my favorite segments we've ever done. I hope Amir gives us more segments of Hassan. Well, I picked this one. But okay. anyway, so um, there are certain other facts that I will also mention, like circuits in our brain control sexual preferences and even who we are attracted to, scientists have, always, uh, have also found in the study. And brain scan data found activity in four areas that researchers believe control what kind of sex people like and what they try to avoid. In your case, you try to avoid all penises at all costs, for yeah. example. Yeah. So that's a part of your brain that's doing thing. that. But I, so what I wanted to ask you, and because you're lesbian, this is a different type of question because I feel like, um, and I'm just going to do a gross generalization here, but uh, you guys are more aware of how to make your partner um, 
uh, achieve an orgasm. Whereas, uh, yeah, I thought when you're having a, a heterosexual be a rude relationship, question, but oh yes. no, no, but in heterosexual relationships, it's usually the female <laughs> yes. orgasm is regarded as the most elusive, hard to find yeah. thing for most guys, right? So, but not this guy. Um, uh, in some instances. Okay. Now, and now, what I wanted to ask you is. And this is something that all straight men always ask. Yeah. And, you know, is it possible to enjoy sex without an orgasm for women? I think so. Interesting. Do you think you you would disagree? Well, for men it's different because, again, we can achieve stimulation and orgasm very quickly. So, yeah. like, we're too, we're spoiled silly with uh, yeah. orgasms left and right. So if you don't have an orgasm when you're having sex, it's like, what the fuck is the point for a man? Right. I'm saying. But I feel like for women, it's always like, I don't know if they're dis like if they're hiding their disappointment if they don't have an orgasm. Well, no, I think obviously the end goal ideally would be to, to achieve climax. an orgasm. Yeah. Yes. But I also think that uh, at least with in my experience, I think that uh, sex can be so sensual without necessarily that climax point. Way to make it gay. No, but I'm thinking, well, sometimes it's just, sometimes it's just not going to happen. Like, sometimes you have a lot on your mind, or sometimes it's just, I don't know, it's, it, you're right, the female orgasm is elusive, and I'm glad that there's a little bit more research into it, because it is like a mystery, like a ghost among us. Still. And um, I think that there's still more to uh, sex than just um, an orgasm that women can appreciate. But yes, ideally, uh, you would climax, although I don't think that, you know, if you're doing the right things, it's never just a colossal waste of time if you don't get there. Everyone has sex differently, Hassan, and that's okay. I'm aware of this fact. I've come to find that out through anecdotal evidence. Okay, guys, but Not we want to know what you guys think. Why did the female orgasm run away and change its course from being a very important part of the reproductive cycle uh, by creating ovulation, and why did women have to take control into their own hands and yeah, why ovulate do women on their do that? own? Why did women do that? I don't like it. <laughs> Just kidding. Leave us your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm Asan Piker. I'm Grace Baldridge. Grace Baldridge, and we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.